Peeking out from behind the clouds, Mount Agung is holding Bali in suspense. Volcanologists say the risk of an eruption is imminent. Thousands of people who live on the slopes of the volcano have been forced to leave their homes. But other Balinese have been quick to respond with help. These schoolgirls are bringing clothes, rice and shampoo. I feel they're my relatives, like my own family. They really need help from us. More than 75,000 people have moved to safer ground. Many now staying in temporary shelters, relying on others for basic needs. Bali's spirit of solidarity at its best. Volunteers are struggling to distribute goods that are pouring in. Nobody knows until when aid is needed for the evacuees, but they hope that this spirit will last. Local activists are taking goods to remote areas, which are difficult to reach. Water purifiers, mattresses and food arrive in Pangotan, a small village that has accepted 2,000 evacuees. This is Bali. Our tradition is to help each other. Their suffering is our suffering. That's our philosophy in Bali. Local teachers are providing children with learning materials and classes to ensure they don't miss their education. The hospitality is well received. I feel relieved that I can stay here because there's a lot of aid. People are really nice to us and if we need something, they try to give it to us. And it's not just people who are finding refuge here, but also their pets. Birds, cats and dogs have been evacuated too, which makes what could be a long and uncertain wait for a possible disaster a little more bearable. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Pangotan.